This is um, All Saints Church in Poplar, guys and girls. I caught this one just at the end of the service. And a lovely bit of organ playing from the organist, of course. Oops, nearly. It's a lovely church. The reflection never being our enemy, of course. And you've got the pews. It's um, it's got some nice old pews for the church, and it was damaged in the war. So yeah, it's a beautiful church. I've been wanting, oops, wrong button. I've been wanting to come and have a look at this one for ages, and I managed to catch it open today. It's the organist up there just leaving, done a fine job. But yeah. Out. And they've got these little pictures all along the walls, so I'll just do it as I go along, basically. <clears throat> this one does have galleries up there where the wealthier parishioners would have sat. This is a fairly late church, um, early 19th century, this one. Poplar was a growing parish and after the Industrial Revolution and the opening of the docks and everything, London or Poplar needed its, needed its own church, so this was it. This won't be a massively long one, of course, but um. photos. It's a lovely church. Just pause you a sec. That's beautiful. Look at that. Bring it back out. And you've got the, the eagle lectern. Making sure I don't knock anything over. Oh, this is lovely. Look at the altar. Look. That's very nice. Just get in the middle. I'll take some pictures of that. Look at 
look at the water table, that's beautiful. And the architecture is lovely in the church as well. Arms, of course, in a in a Church of England situation, the lion and the unicorn. Thomas Hewitt Hardy. The zoom in is very good on this, it does, uh, does help a lot. It's a beautiful church, really is lovely. Okay, alright. That's a nice lady. She's going to have a look at my channel. I said to her, interestingly enough, when um, Family Link, a little bit of a family link for us here, when St Martin's in the Docks was bombed, my nan Liz, one came here once or twice in the war with her, her family, her mum really, my great grandfather wasn't a churchgoer, I think, to be honest with you, he lost his faith in God after the First World War, which was uh, understandable enough, I suppose. And that is kind of what's known as the Holy of Holies, the relics or uh, the, the sacred map, the sacred host is stored, things like that. Yeah, it's a beautiful church. Yeah, so, yeah 1817 or thereabouts, I believe. If I lift my arms up very high, or go down very low, we can capture some of them without the uh, thing. The sun's come off on that one. Jesus is sentenced to death. Lighting a prayer candle. Each one of those is a prayer and a hope. The Book of Remembrance. Piano, which is very nice. Right, lights are going off, so I think that's my cue to leave. Right. I'll give you the view of the uh, outside of this one first and merge them together, but I've already done the inside first, so just so you know. There we are. That's beautiful, that one. Check that. Oh wow, look at this. It's a model of the church. Look, a very old model of the church. That's very good. And a glass dome and everything, I like that. It's very nice. Let me get some pictures of that. Mm, very interesting. I don't know what's through there, but oh, it's the A private area. The Three Kings. Right. Well, I've pretty much covered everything now, so. 
congregation is all here at the back. I will pause it a minute because I want to grab the font if I can. So join me again in a sec. And there's the font, which is lovely, look. <laughs> no worries, bless you. Bless you. Thank you. A lovely church and lovely people, of course. Give him a shilling or two for the upkeep of the church, which is something I always do. It's the rectors and the vicars. And you've got a few memorials out here as well. Pause to read, any that you may be interested in. That one's a bit too blurry, I'm afraid. Zoom me back out. That's the bell rope that goes up into that lovely ceiling rose where the light is. So it's a very utilitarian church, this one. They thought this one out very well. Bell rope goes all the way up into there. And that is the Mark Hodson room. So we are back out into the outside world, being careful not to fall over. And I think it is raining, so this is a beautiful church very nice they're not open next week because uh, they're at a different church but they are open the week after so I may come back because the um, congregation is very friendly and when you get to know a congregation particularly church wardens um, that's when you get your little perks where you can visit places where you don't normally get to see right so do the outside uh, I'll just do the outside on this one, what are we? Yeah, might as well. It's only 11 minutes long anyway. Well, I do say that I do sometimes do art things I'll send upwards, so that's, that's what we've done today. So I will step back, being careful not to. Just gonna pause you a minute. There we are. Very much of the Georgian era, this church. They went in for the, the Romanesque and I think it's very elegant, this style. And as I say, this is a fairly late one, this church. I've done a churchyard tour of this one before. Uh, you scroll but it's a few months back if you scroll through my page you'll find it I'll give you the exterior view of the church now picture it's a lovely church I enjoyed that I say that about every single church you know it's a lovely church sound like a stuck record don't I but there we are <laughs> this is where the rich parishioners would have been buried in here in this little garden area yes. One thing in London, we are spoilt for churches. I won't do any of the graves, it's tempting for me, I always do it, but I have covered this one extensively, so we won't do that today. But over here, and this is what I like as well, this lot obviously was all bombed and replaced after the war and damaged in the war. But up the end here, you're seeing the old houses. Basically, this is what these streets would have been like. Living at the front, because we come along Pop Poplar High Street, or Pop come along Poplar that way now, and we think of that as the main road of Poplar. It's not. Poplar High Street is behind us over here, and that was the main road. This is the front of the church. But to our mind, who that go by on the bus all the time, it is the back. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I 
oh that's what I meant to say I do laugh and joke about it a bit in my uh, videos don't think I'm being a jerk or being irreverent or whatnot that's my way it's uh, how I cope with things I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy if I had one in the mind if you know what I mean depression is no good thing so a little bit of rye or jerkish humour may help me along the way but don't take it the wrong way yeah so this one should be about just under 20 minutes or thereabouts this church does have a crypt and of course it does have a bell tower so generally what I do is uh, a first visit like today inside then I'll come and uh, come back just to a church a couple of the church services no filming or anything like that get to know the congregation and that's how you get little perks sometimes so I got to know the people at Barking and they let me all over the place in there I can't wait till the bell tower has done the uh, restorations I should be going up there for a tour with the bell ringer oh, the head bell, head bell ringer Right, get you round to the front. And then we've covered the Church of All Saints Poplar. The history and such like will be in the description. So I have a read. No fair amount about it and whatnot and that. It's mainly its age and origin really, I know, is what I know. Um, this area is somewhat dodgy of an evening. You get people go and sit down there doing things they shouldn't. A couple of um, Indian, you want to call them drug, drug addicts, smackheads, or I don't know what you want to call them. They was there once. I shan't tell you what I nicknamed them, but it was rather funny. Well, I thought so. My nephew laughed as well, but there we are. <laughs> I like, with some of my pictures, you'll think, what's he just taking pictures of trees for? I like light, nature, Especially against buildings, like with my ones at St Paul's the other day, trees and light. It's just things like that appeal to me. Like this kind of thing, this is what I'm doing now, this is the type of picture I like. Top of the spiring, yep, I'll walk us round. And then we've done then, yeah, be under 20 minutes, which is pretty good going. Big churchyard, this one. It needed it. East End is a uh, poplar. It's the East End when, when the parish was growing, so did the disease and the cholera and the dysentery and all that kind of things. Don't forget this is 1817, 1820s, this lot. And they lost a lot of parishioners as a lot of London places died. Even the rich couldn't much escape from the disease in those days if you caught it. And I mean, the Prince, the Prince Albert himself, look what he died of. And there's another thing I like as well, some people don't. I like the old against the new. Yeah. Crisp Street Market is just over there. It's an old haunt of mine and my nan's pie and mash, have a walk around the market. Some lovely memories. Right, we are more or less complete. And it still has its original iron fencing. Lucky to have not had this taken away during the war. Lots of uh, churches and uh, houses even lost all their, their fancy iron fencing. How this kept it, I am not quite sure. But it, it, it did keep it and it's got its original gates and that which we'll see now picture from that angle it 
See, I take pictures while I'm filming now, and then I can brighten them up and sharpen them. Because if you take specific pictures just on their own, the quality is a lot better. But it means I have to go all the way back round again and do pictures, so, which can be a bit of a drag. But yeah, um, I hope everyone enjoyed that one. It's a Church of All Saints in Poplar. And these are the gates I'm on about here. the original ironwork. Right everyone, hope you all enjoyed that. If you did, give it a like and a shout. Thanks very much for watching. And we've just gone over 20 minutes, so we'll do 20 minutes and 10 seconds. <laughs>